All right, thank you for joining me on this hot, hot May day. It's May 26th when I'm filming this. You guys will be seeing it a week later, but boy, is it hot outside. I was just working outside and I worked up a thirst, and I thought, what a great time to come do a beer review. So I went through the stash that I had, and I decided on this one. This is from New Realm Brewing Company, the Sour Series. It's Tarts Content, a Berliner Weiss, 4.6% alcohol by volume. It says this richly fruited Berliner Weiss impresses with its tart bright citrus and spiced fall flavors. Oh boy, has this been in my refrigerator that long? It says it was packaged on uh, September 28th, 2020. So yeah, it's been in my refrigerator for, uh, for quite a while. Um, but we're going to drink it anyway. Like I say, it's hot outside. I'm thirsty. And this is Tarts Kinkai. Oh, look at that. She comes out pink. Tart, I'm guessing there's probably like cranberries. It's got a reddish bronze hue with unique ingredients, cranberry, cinnamon, and orange peel. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Pairs with harvest festivals, falling leaves, fire pits, and family feasts. Well, guess what? I feel like I've been standing next to a fire pit because it is that hot outside. So I'm sure this will go very nicely. New Rome Brewing Company. Where are they out of? Atlanta, Georgia, and Virginia Beach. This one probably came from Atlanta, Georgia because I live in the Atlanta metro area. It's got some nice carbonation, got that interesting pink color. Let's see what she smells like. Oh, I'm getting... You can get the cranberry and you can get that cinnamon, definitely. Those are two flavors that I never really imagined going together, but you never know. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. I'll put a pucker in your puss. <laughs> that is sour. But I've said it before, sours is a style of beer that I never thought I would like. Not real big on sour things. However, I've had four sour beers in my life. This will be number five. And I thought the other four were fantastic. Now this one just off of the initial, it was a, just a punch to the face like with a lemon. Like a lemon came up and went poof. Okay, he hit. Now I'm numb to the pain. Let's see what she actually tastes like. Yeah. After that initial shock of the, of the sour from the first sip, still very tart, but in a good way. It's like, it. this is, a, you know, it's a full point. 4.6, I think I said, was the alcohol, which is not very high, but unlike most ABV beers in that range, you don't want to just slam it down and then pick up another one and slam it down and pick up another one. This is more like a higher ABV beer in the fact that you just want to sip on it because it's got a lot of flavor, and if you just guzzle it down, you know, you pour it in a funnel and you, you know, you're gonna miss out on all that amazing flavor, so don't do that. I mean, if you want to, do it, but you're wasting all that flavor if you're just bypassing the tongue and just shooting it right into your belly, so take your time. Sip on it. This is a great beer. I know it's, it says it's a fall beer. I can picture sitting around the pool or the lake and you're just chatting it up with your friends, you know, and you're just sipping on this. Mm. That cinnamon is definitely more of an aroma than a flavor. I'm not getting any of the cinnamon flavor. And this is strictly like unsweetened cranberry juice. You know, it's got that powerful tartness. Notice that big head, it, it dissipated fairly quickly. And, you know, for all the guys out there who might, might want to not drink it because I said it was pink. Well, I say it's pink. It's, it is, it, it's got that coppery looking look to it. 
Hey, most of you guys, if you're sitting around the fire or sitting around the pool or something, you're not going to be pouring it into a glass anyway and drinking it, are you? I mean, you miss part of the experience if you do that, but if you're just hanging out in the summertime with your friends, you know, and you're pop, you got a cooler full of beers and you got some of these in there and you crack one open, nobody's going to know it's pink if you're drinking it out of the can. You'll still get that amazing flavor, but I ain't scared. I'll drink it pink, I don't care. Yeah, if you like dry wines, you'd really like this beer. Of course, if you like wines, you probably like the higher ABV. Like I said, this is this is at the low end, but this is this is very very flavorful, and it's a great sour. Once again, I think this is my fifth sour ever having, and it's very delicious. I like it. Sour. Delicious. I kind of wish it had that cinnamony flavor. Besides, I couldn't picture cinnamon and cranberry going together. And I still can't picture it because all I get your nose in the glass, yeah, you smell cinnamon, but it's not it's not on on the tongue. There's no cinnamon flavor. It's going down. The more I drink it, tartness seems to be coming down the more that I drink it, which is probably why I like these. You know, that initial sour, like licking a lemon, huh. but if you keep licking it and keep licking it and keep licking it, you know, it's eventually it's not going to be as sour to you. That's what this beer is doing. New Realm Brewing Company, Tarts Content, Berliner Weiss, 4.6%. Alcohol from Atlanta, Georgia. Virginia Beach, Virginia, I think it said. Yes, Virginia Beach, Virginia. So thanks for stopping by the Hardport Pub on this super hot day. And boy, this is really quenching my thirst. So if you haven't yet tried a sour, go buy you a single. Just buy one. I was amazed. Maybe you'll be too. So go do it. Try these things. Summertime's coming. Have some fun with it. Don't always show up to the party with the same thing. They'll know you as same old boring, predictable, whatever your name is. Mix it up a little bit. So, I will see you guys next time. Till then. Oh.